Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie and if you are new here, hey, welcome. I hope you'll consider subscribing for lots more diamond painting content. And if you are back, welcome back. Today I am here with another sneak peek unboxing from Diamond Art Club. So thank you to Diamond Art Club for sending this over. This kit along with the other new releases this week are going to be coming out tomorrow, which is um, a Saturday, November 18th at 9.30 a.m. Pacific time or 12.30 p.m. Eastern. If you're in the Ruby or Diamond tier of the rewards program, you do get a half an hour early access window. Um, although sometimes you'll get the email, honestly, up to like 45 minutes before the general release window. So just be sure you're checking your email and or your texts and um, that'll get you in. So the kit I have uh, to share with you guys today is a really, really, really pretty kit called Summer Rose by Lori Prindle. Lori Prindle is known for all of her really gorgeous horse related artwork. And um, I feel like this would be a really, really gorgeous companion piece to another one that Diamond Art Club has released by her called, I think, Blue Rose. Uh, this is just, yeah, this looks so pretty. And uh, it's gonna have square shaped diamonds, 80 by 65 centimeters or 31.5 by 25.6 inches. As far as the features on the box, we do have some blue branding here, which is what they use with their square drill kits. On the back of the box, there'll be some information about how to diamond paint, there's going to be a pamphlet inside that has even more info um, and then your kit contents written out for you and then on the side there is a QR code you can scan that'll give you 10% off the purchase now if you're brand new to Diamond Art Club and thinking of making your very first purchase I do have a, an affiliate discount code you're welcome to use um, to get 20% off and it's just my name Katie K-A-T-I-E and the number 20 and I am struggling so hard with this okay there we go <laughs> uh, so thank you in advance if you choose to use that like I said it is an affiliate code so I may make a small commission if you choose to use it that said please do not feel obligated whatsoever to use it um, it always goes right back into my channel but there will also be plenty of other coupon codes you're going to see actually just in today's video and out there uh, I just recommend taking advantage of one of them so that you're not don't pay full price don't pay full price <laughs> little slash well-kept secret <laughs> Diamond Art Club doesn't want you to pay full price at this point. So anyway, there is the our kit contents. And then let's take first a look at the toolkit. It's going to have everything you need to do your diamond painting. It's kind of a set of basic tools, but you guys have actually challenged myself in the past to complete diamond painting kits with just the included toolkit. It is entirely doable, completely doable. Um, it's, and honestly, Diamond Art Club's toolkits for a basic toolkit are, are pretty are pretty good, <laughs> it's pretty solid. You're gonna get a pen and squishy and the color on those is going to vary. You're also going to get uh, some pink wax. It's gonna come in this caddy and um, there's a couple of, of the little uh, t um, <laughs> plates of pink heart wax. And there is a thin plastic film on there you wanna make sure you peel back uh, before you try to load up your pen. Don't mind my naked nails today. They need a break from having fake nails on. Um, it's just, yeah, no, they need to breathe. <laughs> anyway, you're also gonna get some thin plastic multi-placers if you wanna try your hand at placing more than one diamond at a time. You can just pop those in there. And then we've got a pair of tweezers. They are sharp, so you're gonna wanna keep the uh, cover on them when we're not using them. We've also got a tray, and this bit here is not a bit of mistake <laughs> plastic trash that ended up in there. It's actually a tray stopper that fits in there and uh, helps stop the diamonds from sliding out while you're using it. You've got a bag of baggies in case you want to store your leftover diamonds in there. And then you've also got a roll of washi tape. Now the print on this is going to vary. How perfectly does this roll match this kit though, those florals? So if you would like to know more about how, where, why, when to use washi tape, I have a video dedicated to exactly that. And that'll be linked below in the description box along with a variety of other helpful videos. We've also got a cover minder and the style on these is gonna vary. Uh, there are magnets on the back and you can use this to hold back the cover of the, the plastic cover on your diamond painting. While you're working on it, we have a cute little blue seashell. Uh, we have found out that Diamond Art Club is gonna, from what they said a little while back, of course this can always change, but they have said that they are intending to discontinue the cover minders at some point. I don't know when that's going to be, but that is coming just because they have had some, you know, issues with the quality on them. So anyway, you're also going to get this smaller sticker. I use this in my paper logbook once I start working on a kit. I like that it has the artwork and the details about the piece. Uh, some people will use these on the side of the box to help organize their stash, or you could find something crafty to do with it. Get creative. <laughs> Everything else is going to be included here in this bag or this 
plastic dust cover. Uh, let's see which way. Oh, looks like that's going to be this, this way. All right. Whoa, look, look at the level of detail in her mane. Oh my gosh. Wow. Okay. That is striking. And I am just, I'm just looking at this going, this is going to be gorgeous. That's going to be stunning. Okay. So other stuff that was rolled up in here, I'm going to show you in just a moment. But first, if you have a canvas that's wanting to curl up like this, you have a couple of options. One is you can wait. Diamond Art Club's canvases do have a self flattening feature. It will eventually lay flat on its own. If I let it sit here for a few minutes, it totally would. However, I am impatient for the sake of this unboxing, so I am not going to wait for that. I'm just going to roll it backwards the opposite direction, and that is going to help it lay flat more quickly. You can also uh, do a thing where you peel back the plastic cover like halfway each direction and then lay it back down, and that will also help. Look at how pretty she is. Oh my gosh, you guys. Wow. Okay, that's that's really, really pretty. So pretty. Okay, let me show you what was included here. So we have a pamphlet. It's going to have a thank you note from the founder on the front. What's included in your kit? Uh, a beginner video. You can scan that QR code. I also have a beginner video that'll be in the description along with all those other helpful links. Uh, a link to the VIP Facebook group, or rather a QR code for it once you made your first purchase. And then some step-by-step -step instructions written out for you some tips and tricks written out for you. Sorry, I bumped you. And yet another discount code and QR codes for the mobile app. You get 20% off your first purchase through the app as well. So you can be strategic about how you use your discount codes. <laughs> uh, we're also going to get this larger sticker sheet. Uh, there's the name Summer Rose by Lori Prindle. Spot trait your certain end date. And here you guys, there is, there's a bigger look at the original artwork. Look at all the textures and details in here. <laughs> Wow, even just kind of the textures on um, the horse itself, you can see that, how that's gonna uh, come uh, at play there. And then over here we have, oh, we have the stats down here as well. Over here we have a set of pre-cut sticker labels that if you like to kit up your diamonds into storage containers, this makes this process go a lot faster. Um, the DMC, the color code system comes, I'm sorry, I'm stumbling over my words. The color codes that you see here in the right-hand column these are actually from the DMC color code system. Most diamond painting companies do use this system. It comes from the DMC brand of Floss. With Diamond Art Club's numbering system though, a couple of things. So first, anything under the number 150 is going to be a special kind of diamond called an AB. So it looks like we're going to have four of those in this kit. 55 colors in total and a couple of, of neat things I want to point out to you here at the end of the DMC at the color code list here. First, this number down here that has a Z at the beginning, that's gonna be another kind of special drill. That's gonna be a fairy dust color. And then these 6,000s, this is something that Diamond Art Club just introduced a few weeks ago. I think it was, I had one of the first kits that they, they had these 6,000 range colors in. This is a new range of colors that they are adding in that is filling in gaps in the DMC color code system. There are a couple of color families that are known to just not have a lot to offer and diamond art club makes all their diamonds in house and so they're like well why don't we just make colors <laughs> that will fill in those gaps uh, and so i think that this is really going to expand a lot of possibilities for us and it looks like we're going to have two colors in that 6000s range in this kit um, and if i had to guess if these are just kind of if they're just adding and like giving it a code in numerical order this leads me to believe that they have at least 21 new colors so far <laughs> so we'll see but i'll i'll show you how they look they're not going to be a special drill type um, it's just going to be a regular drill type but it's going to be a color that's not otherwise offered in the dmc color code system which i think is really 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 cool and like i said i think it's going to open up a lot of possibilities especially when it comes to um like darker skin tones or i think like purples are known to to have some uh lacking uh, options and ranges so i'm excited i think that's going to be be really cool uh so let me take you on a little tour of the canvas here so we have their branding at the top do what makes you sparkle diamond art club um the edges of the canvas here they are scalloped and they've got some pokes some finishing there so you won't have to worry about fraying i've never had a diamond art clip canvas fray at all uh, the back on the canvas is really plush and it's soft but the material on the canvas itself feels like 
just a luxurious or luxury or like a premium weight canvas. It's not really thin. Um, it's both like sturdy and malleable. It's just really enjoyable to work on, honestly. Uh, the glue that they use is a poured glue and it is really sticky. And you can actually see here, there's a little bit of like glitter in the glue too. So it's like your whole, your whole diamond painting experience is sparkly. Uh, we have a color list, a legend, whatever you'd like to call it here. Up at the top left, you'll find the same color list at the bottom right of the canvas. And then here at the bottom left, you'll see a thumbnail of the original artwork and then the title, Summer Rose, the size, and then this all important symbol, copyright Lori Prindle. Now Diamond Art Club legally licenses all of their kits from the artist or from you know a licensing company or similar. Uh, all of it is above board. What this means is that the artist has both given permission for the use of their artwork and is being fairly compensated for it as well. And art theft is unfortunately common in the crafting world. So I'm all about companies that are doing right by artists. Down here, you'll see links to their socials and another discount code, and then information about their lifetime warranty, which is long through the original owner and purchaser of your kit. Um, this is a little unwieldy. <laughs> As long as you're the original owner and purchaser of your kit, you are covered under that lifetime warranty. And that includes if you happen to run out of a color um, or have any issues with the canvas or the glue, anything like that. This canvas, as we're looking at it together, is certainly very, what I would call very, very confetti heavy very confetti heavy. Confetti is when you have a lot of color changes in a small area, which there is just a ton of um, in the horses, uh, like all along their body, as well as in their mane. It's pure confetti. Now, that means that those areas are probably going to take you longer to do this. Maybe a canvas that just generally takes a little bit longer to do. But the amazing thing about that is that it usually gives you a much lovelier level of detail. And um, in this case, I think is really going to do those textures justice. I do see a little glimpse up here of what we would call um, color blocking. Now, color blocking is where you have large sections of the, the same color in a, in a small area, rather. And so you can use your multi-placer and you'll have that color in your tray for a little bit longer. We have like small kind of sections of color blocking, like little bits of the same symbol here and here. And so, you know, you can use a multi-placer there. Even in the horse's mane, I will say we have a little bit of what I'd consider like linear color blocking. Let me try to find a, yeah. So it's like, you'll be able to use a multi-placer and it's like, do the line of twos, do the line of twos, do the line of twos, you know, do this percent symbol, percent symbol, percent symbol. So it's like linear confetti color blocking. I don't know. So I don't know if there's, there's not like a technical term for that. I just, the one I hear most other, diamond painters use is just kind of like linear confetti or linear <laughs> color blocking, but this looks really good. The canvas looks really clear. Um, and I just, I think that especially just looking at the printing on the canvas, I think that this is gonna be striking once completed and that those details and those textures are gonna be gorgeous. We are at almost 80 centimeters left to right, which were listed as 80 centimeters there. And then top to bottom, let's see, we are at 65 on the nose. So I'm calling that true to size. And I give companies, you know, a centimeter or two of wiggle room. Uh, let's look at these diamonds next. All of those really pretty grays and purples and greens, some pinks. Let's take a look. And by the way, if you didn't know, there is a sticker on the pack of diamonds in case you store these separate from the canvas outside the box they came in. It's easy enough to match up later. All right, so there's our colors again. Let's then start right from the top. So we have some gorgeous purples and pinks. Now the DMC code is printed on here and there's even, they've added a line recently. So you can tell which way is right side up. This really just comes into play for, there's a couple of DMC codes that have just sixes and nines in them. And so that makes it easier not to mix those up. Right here, we have our first special drill. And I believe this is our only fairy dust color. I'm zooming you in here. So these diamonds, uh, it's subtle, but it's there, you guys. If you look over here, uh, we have diamonds that have a gorgeous glitter coating brushed on the top of them. 
And these are honestly my favorite, spe there we go. My favorite special drill that Diamond Art Club offers. They're subtle, they're shimmery, and are so incredibly pretty. I love, love, love these. And you'll find these in a huge variety of different DMC coats as well. But Z762, it's kind of a nice light gray. And I wonder if it's gonna be in the horse's mane. That would be my guess. But of course, I will be sure to, to show you where we're gonna find all of these special drill colors after we're done looking at all the drills. So next up, right away, we have our first AB color, um, 117. And we have two bags of this one. It's nice taupe AB. Now AB stands for Aurora Borealis, and these get their name from the Northern Lights. So just like the Northern Lights have a really shimmery and color shift effect, uh, kind of almost like rainbowy at night effect. So too does the iridescent coating on the tops of these diamonds. They are more striking and bold than fairy dust diamonds are and will stand out more and really highlight and draw your eye to the areas they've been charted. So two bags of, of this one. And then we've got some purples and with a green. I love that green. Some more grays and beiges. Ooh, I love that kind of like dark dusty rose really, really pretty neutrals and muted tones in this painting. Here is our second AB color 108. <clears throat> I'll try to correct this, this color a bit after I finish filming. In camera right now, as I'm seeing it, this looks like a brighter green, but it really is truly an olive green, like just a true, like exactly you would picture of like a standard olive green. So it's really pretty. And then we've got, ooh, some pinks. That's a hot pink, a couple of hot pinks. I wonder where, here we go. It heard me talking. I was like, I wonder where some of these new colors are. This is 6,021. This is one of the, the colors that Diamond Art Club has created. The color that, you know, has been, I don't know how they do it. They mix it or whatever, but it's a dark gray color. And right next to it, 6020 is a slightly lighter gray color. So we have some new shades of gray and four big bags of this one. I'm thinking, let me see, 6021, the percent sign. Yeah, that is all throughout uh, the horse's body and quite a bit of the mane. And this gray color, the equal sign, same thing. So I think that, you know, probably they went, okay, let's see if we can get some grays that are really, really close to the original artwork. So they created, I think, these two. So there you go. And then we've got our next AB color, 141. This is a really common AB in Diamond Art Club's artwork because it is white, has kind of a rainbowy effect on the top. Occasionally you will see diamonds that, oh, it just kind of disappeared. Um, where the AB coating, it gets flipped and the AB coating will end up on the bottom of the diamond instead of the top. And just, you know, just don't use that one. But there you go. So there's our next AB. And I believe this is our, yeah, fourth, yeah, fourth and final AB is a really pretty uh, pale pink. So pretty, 124. There's that one. And then this last strand here, uh, these are ones that we just have the smallest amount of these colors. Diamond Art Club puts their drills roughly in order of weight, not by DMC code or, or you know, the color list number. We just packed in everything by weight. Just a little bag of 310 there. And there we go. So let's look at this canvas and find those special drill colors. And with all this confetti, you guys, we're gonna have to work for it, I think. <laughs> so um, let me take a look and see if anything's gonna jump out at me right away. So first off, I do see the that really light gray fairy dust color that we have. There's a line of it in the horse. Well, there's it's doing some highlighting in this part of the horse's mane right here. And then I also see it... Um, okay, let me try to show this to you. So this color, the black dot on the white background, that's gonna be our white AB. 
And then the one right next to it that like looks like a little, it's like a conductor's baton. I'm a music nerd. So that's what I just think of when I see it. That symbol is our gray fairy dust. And so we're gonna have the AB and the fairy dust right next to each other. I actually love the effect of ABs and fairy dust right next to each other. I think it has a gorgeous effect, honestly. I love it. So outlining kind of the profile of the horse's body here. And then we have some more of like that gray AB right here. Um, and it kind of, yeah, it does kind of go up all around the horse's body this way. And then here on the horse's, uh, um, the head here, we've got white ABs here and then a bunch of the gray fairy dust throughout as well. Now in the horse's mane, let me show you up close. If you look and find the number two, which there is a ton of, a ton of the number two all throughout the horse's mane. That is our taupe AB color. So that is just gonna give the horse's mane so much depth and so much extra sparkle and shimmer. That number two, there's tons of it. There's a reason we had two big bags of that particular color. And we've got some of the gray AB here. Um, I see some of the, or sorry, gray fairy dust, the symbol. And then we have some of the white AB and it's more of the gray fairy dust, that little wand. And then same over here. But yeah, that number two, just all throughout the mane. Tons and tons of sparkle in the mane. And I think back here too, let's see. Yeah, there's that number two. Just oodles of that taupe AB. Love it. Now, while we're up here, you guys, take a look at the that green color, the screen number one. Well, white number one on a green background. That is that olive green AB that I showed you. It also makes an appearance down here in the leaves right here and here. The lightest green you see in camera, you guys, that is our olive green AB color. And it's in these leaves too and throughout here. And then the pink AB is in, of course, these flower petals. It's one of the light it's maybe one of the lightest pinks that's showing up in camera for you um there's a couple of different pinks in there and one of them is that pink ab in this flower it goes around the edge here a little bit in this petal over here and of course throughout this flower over here there's a few dots of the white ab sprinkled throughout here and what ab am i neglect i think no i'm not i'm not missing any yet okay <laughs> Hopping up to this flower up here, of course, we have some of the pink AB. Um, I'll show you up close just so you can see. It is the, the number three is our pink AB. So you can kind of see how it's laced throughout. And then the leaves, just lots of that olive green AB in the leaves of that flower. And then if we shift over this way, um, this back here does not have any ABs or fairy dust in it, but these leaves over here do have the olive green AB. There's a single solitary gray fairy dust in the center of the horse's eye. <laughs> and then in these leaves down here, we have some of the olive green AB, as well as in the leaves of this plant over here, we have some of the olive green AB. I think that about covers it, you guys. So all of those gorgeous special drills throughout are gonna make this piece really special, <laughs> pun intended, I suppose. When it's complete, I think it's gonna be really gorgeous. And I think that all of the confetti that's happening all throughout here is going to look incredible. I'm really excited that Diamond Art Club has created some new colors, very clearly specifically for this piece and to make it as close to the original artwork as possible. Those two shades of gray that are all throughout here, I think that that is, you know, that's amazing that now we, we have these colors that were created to be as close to the original artwork as possible. I love all of the special drills and I think that this is, like I said, I think it would be a gorgeous companion to, I think Blue Rose was the name of it, another piece by this artist that Diamond Art Club released, which is also a stunner <laughs> when it's done. So just to give you a really quick recap, the name of this piece is Summer Rose. It's 80 by 65 centimeters. It has 55 colors, including four ABs, one fairy dust, and um, does have those two new 6,000 range colors. And it has square drills and just looks so dreamy and so sweet. So this kit, along with the other new releases, are coming out tomorrow, Saturday, November 18th at um, 9.30 a.m. Pacific, 12.30 p.m. Eastern. Uh, and if you are a Diamond or Ruby Tier Rewards member, don't forget to watch for that early access email or text. So 
best of luck to you if you are shopping let me know in the comments what you think is this one on your shopping list have you done anything by this artist from diamond art club or are you eyeing any other new releases this weekend be sure to check out the other uh, sneak peeks from my other fabulous fellow content creators and uh that help you help you decide what's on your shopping list. I hope this video was helpful and helped you decide. And thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And I would invite you to subscribe if you want to stay up to date with lots more diamond painting content for me. If you like Diamond Art Club sneak peeks, I have some really exciting news for you for this upcoming week that you don't want to miss out on. So um, just buckle up, you guys. Just buckle up. We're <laughs> we're in for a heck of a ride leading up to um, you know the big thing that happens the day after Thanksgiving. So feel free to subscribe. I'd love to have you, and I hope that you have a day that is as amazing as you are. I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.